Good morning, everybody. The following are my responses for the final task for Technology for School Leaders, in which we're asked to address several different points. Uh, the first point is, what's my view uh, on the principal's role in technology use? That's a really good question. I think that the principal has to act as a model user of technology. I think the principal has to acknowledge those who are implementing and using technology effectively. Um, and I think uh, a leader has to try and foster a culture where experimentation with different types of technology uh, is not only necessary but encouraged in that you can try new things and realize that they don't work. You can try and fail, but you fail forward in experimenting with what is the best way to incorporate technology and use technology as a tool. One of the many tools that you have in your plethora of teaching strategies to do better what we're already doing. Uh, and I think the principal has to encourage that, has to foster it, and has to model it also in how you do that. So that leads to one-to-one -to -one technology. Uh, I, I think initially in the opening phases of one-to-one, of -one, I think it was initially a fad. And I think when one school started to do it, I think that all the other schools started rushing in to do it. And what we saw is that some districts implemented this program but didn't implement it very well. And now we're seeing um, a rethinking of what does it mean to give a one-to-one -one computer. You know, are you giving somebody a tablet and just supplementing the tablet for a textbook or the tablet for a pencil. And when the, it's supposed to enhance, not just supplement old teaching strategies. And I think school districts are starting to re, reassess that. In my own experience, I was on a team that planned, uh, rolled out, and implemented a one-to-one -one program in a school district. And of course, there were growing pains along the way. We, we learned what those were. We initially rolled out with Apple devices on iPads. Um, and they're getting more and more expensive to maintain and to keep. And so now the district has, uh, I'm no longer there, but the district decided to now go with Chromebooks. And so there's this evolution in one-to-one in -one computing. And I, I believe it really is an important development. Um, students need to know how to be able to enhance what they're doing with devices. They, it, it's, it needs to become intuitive uh, to them to, to use technology in their learning. And I think it's, it's greater than a fad it, it, I think it initially was, and then some of the districts implemented them poorly. Um, and I think the teachers are still learning what it means to effectively use those things in their classroom, figuring out, okay, how does each kid having a laptop or each kid having an iPad or some sort of device, how does that enhance the learning environment, not just supplement old ways of, of doing things? And so I believe the one-to-one -one, um, is, is an important development, but it also comes with things that school districts have to keep in mind in additional costs, things like maintenance and upkeep of these devices, things like um, figuring out, do we have the bandwidth to support it? Do we have the, uh, the security measures to keep um, students safe and keep uh, the learning environment positive uh, as far as students looking at things they shouldn't? Um, but another thing with one-to-one -one is I think that it's, it's also a very uh, important juncture where a, um, students and um, ethical use converge and sometimes cross. I think that one-to-one -one offers a good opportunity to teach kids uh, the ethical use of technology, learning um, when to be able to put it away and teaching them important personal lessons in how they personally use technology. I think one-to-one -one offers that as well. So not only does one-to-one -one supplement, not supplement, enhance and make better what teachers can do, but I think it also offers an uh, important lessons that students can learn from it. The things that I'm most interested in learning about is, um, or sorry, technology that I use as a school leader. I use technology all the time in, in, my, in my teaching. Um, I use... Uh, many online platforms, different content management systems, Moodle, Edmodo, um, Blackboard, and the different institutions that I teach for. I teach with Adobe and Zoom. I'm running out of time. Technology tools I'm most interested in learning about. I'm really interested in learning about Google Classroom. Uh, Google Classroom is something I have not played with, something that I want to learn about. I hear that it continues to get better in the blogs that I follow, and that's something I'd really like to look at. Uh, most useful to educators, Twitter. Everybody knows that Twitter is one of the most important professional development things that we can use out there right now. I think Twitter, 
um, is bar none one of the most important things that teachers can use. And I also think that from Twitter you can go down rabbit holes to find your own learning communities. That's what I think teachers need to use. They need to use Twitter as a springboard to find new places and new people to follow. As we all learn how to get better with using technology in the classroom. Thanks.